Yes, Derek, Derek, you are live on Revolutionary Cam, my brother. Yes, man. You must, you must really like hanging out with us. Uh, you know, you're in Ghana with us a few times now. You're in Tanzania. Man, I love it, man. I'm, I'm part of the movement, man. I'm part of your movement, man. It's a beautiful thing. Man. You know, there you go, family. You know, we are serious, hardworking people. Put that work in. You know what I mean, yeah. you know, make things move and, and you know, recycle our resources to spend it in tropical Africa. And you know, I need to duplicate and get more folks like uh, Derek. Yeah. It's a journey with us. Dedication and commitment and consistency, baby. And man, be out there working, man. Be, be, be pushing them, them 50 them fifty wheelers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I put the work in. The 50 wheelers are 48 yeah. wheelers. Yeah. Or the 24 work wheelers. Ethic. Good work ethic, and now I get to take a good trip to the mother Africa. That's right? what it is, family. And that's what we try to teach the youth. I mean, I mean, you put that work in and enjoy yeah. paradise. Yeah. I mean, and that's what it's all about. It's about the works. You know? And a brother from, what part of Georgia from again? Um, so northwest Georgia, by Chattanooga, it's a small town called Chickamauga, Georgia. Uh, that sounds like that place in, in, in California. Yeah, it's an Indian, uh, well the name is really Indian, Native American, of course, Cherokee, you know, but you know, with colonization, you know how that goes, the name changes, but yeah, I was born and raised there and migrated to Atlanta at uh, 20 years old and went to college for two years and, uh, you know, been in Atlanta ever since, it's a good place. Uh, it's my last stop before I uh, moved and repatriate to Mother Africa. So it's done me well being in Atlanta, though. And Northwest Georgia wasn't bad, you know. It's just uh, part of uh, life experience is getting that experience there, and that's part of the, part of the uh, planet. And now moving on to Africa, and we get that new experience just like here in Atlanta. That's see, a, what, see what Mother Africa has in store. Baby. That's amazing, man. From 2011, once you hit the ground, you kept yeah. on running. Kept running, yeah. 2020, I'm sticking with the plan, and got me um, purchased my first. Um, part of land in, in, in Ghana, so uh, it's all working, it's all coming to fruition. So I stuck with it, and it's great rewards um, at, at this point, you know. And I'm pretty sure it's very, some great rewards in the, um, uh, in the future as well. There you go, family. Uh, there you go, family. That's it, man. So you know, you don't have to be super rich or have one of them six all. figure salaries, you just gotta stack your cash, you know what I mean? Even if you got little change, it may take you about five years, but it all, it all adds up, man. Yeah. Lay the, bricks, lay the bricks down brick by brick and, 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 and you'll have a mansion, you know. It's a serious yeah. business. So, see, so yeah, Derek is part of the Black Star Pan-African community and family. We're going to be building soon. Building. So we're going to keep you posted with that. But for now, we're on our way to Amsterdam and then from Amsterdam, Tanzania. So family, the journey of a lifetime continues. But Derek, before we go, anything you want to encourage folks? Uh, well, I see you sitting in this luxurious aircraft. Well, let me say this. Uh, soon, in a couple of days, on, on these videos, you'll see me riding probably the back of a hippopotamus. So just keep a lookout for that. <laughs> so. Hey, when we're on safari, I'm telling you, family, I'm going to push someone out the truck and have the lions chase them. Yeah, you're yeah. going to love that footage. <laughs> but yeah, definitely bring, come, take your tour. Uh, if you haven't been on one of our money tours, it's, it's, uh, it's one of the best things you can do because it's very organized. Uh, the money's been consistent since what 2006 2006, 2006 absolutely a long time. so if you can get 40 people to come at, at a time uh that's a big uh that's saying a lot about his uh, services and what he's put into this projects and uh so take your trip you know like i said this is my third tour with for money two times to ghana and now one time to east africa to tanzania and then next year i'll be for sure going on the south african trip and hey i'll be well around the mental strength is is, is increasing and my wisdom and my knowledge and I'm a I'm a new person and I'll keep evolving, keep elevating. So come get one of these tours on Africa for the Africans. There you go family. So that's uh yeah, that's a long time family. Fourteen long years doing a journey of a lifetime and sixteen years traveling. Yeah. It was two thousand four when I took that first epic journey to Senegal and I was even watching the footage and I was like wow man I must have I must have been taking some magical pill I didn't look, even look like I aged. Yeah. But it's, <laughs> I figured the stress would get me, but hey, it's been 16 long years hitting the road, going out there, to showing the documentation of our experience, and it has grown. So family, you know what I mean? You know, you tell the youth to them, don't ever give up on their dreams. No. Put that work in, and we'll, you know, you can achieve it. As a matter of fact, a lot of youth need to be taking this trip because it'll be a, something they could be exposed to at a young age, and they'll grow and know that they have a place of uh, belonging. So that's very important. You got youth, youth centers, children you know come on along arm the flights please absolute family the arm in the flight so we gotta go